Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Behind the Find. Today, we're going to be taking a look at an item that I recently got that has quickly become a prized possession in my video game collection. And that is not actually a video game, but this wonderful, beautiful Star Fox watch by Nintendo and Nelsonic. Welcome to Behind the Find. As video game collectors, there are two things we do really well buy video games and show them off. But sometimes our treasures deserve to be seen in deeper detail. Today, let's get into Behind the Find. So the significance of this watch, or any video game watch in general, has kind of become a long story here on the show. If you watch this show for any amount of time, our old show Retro Liberty, this all began a long time ago when my buddy Ricky and I were at a video game convention. At this time, I recently just got done telling a bunch of different people I was looking to collect different types of Nintendo watches. And while we're at this convention, while I'm filming, Ricky sees a Star Fox watch right underneath my nose while I'm filming. He gets the watch. The watch is only $20. But 20 bucks for a Star Fox watch, I had to. And it becomes a big part of the episode. I'm upset, I'm mad, I'm jealous, all of the above. Long story short, I didn't get the watch and Ricky did. So this kind of started our love and our fuel for watches on the show. You know I want this. With the, with the Instagram post and everything, you knew this was coming. Ricky will push you out of the way for that kind of stuff. I could tell Aaron was jealous, like legitimately like, he wanted to punch me. Going forward again, Ricky and I went to a convention just a few months ago and Ricky bought a really cool promotional Nintendo 64 watch that is actually really hard to find. And with that later in the episode, Ricky and I were playing around in some bubbles and when I hit Ricky playing around with him, his watch went missing as we discovered later and you can actually see in the episode when it slips off. It was gone. He was jealous of that watch. And now none of us have it. Because I went everywhere looking for it. Went to the lost and found. That's the way Ricky goes. I also broke my ribs about 10, 15 seconds after that. But that's a different story. <laughs> So watches here on this show have become a thing for us. And recently at a Frank and Sons collectible swap meet, a buddy of mine, Juan from Secret Game Stash, gave me a Star Fox watch. Now this watch, you guys, I did not even know that these watches came in a beautiful case like this. So with that, let's dive into some information about the watch that you guys may or may not have known. So this watch came out in 1993 and was made by Nelsonic, the same company that made the Mario and Zelda watches as well, and this was licensed by Nintendo. This watch was made to help promote a video game, and as you can guess, it was made to help promote Star Fox the video game. But what's really interesting about this, and something I had a hard time believing, is that Kellogg's was working with Nintendo in order to promote this. And what I mean by that is that the way you obtain this watch was by sending in boxes of Kellogg's cornflakes in order to get the watch. That's not what I find to be weird because that's normal nowadays. You know, you send in 20 box tops and you can get whatever, a random item for kids or a toy or a promotional item. But what I found to be kind of weird and not normal is that you only had to send in two box tops or two boxes. That's it in order to get the watch. I wish that was a thing nowadays where a lot of these items I want seem so far away and unobtainable. But from my understanding, Kellogg's Cornflakes, you only had to send in two boxes. What's better than playing Nintendo Star Fox? Playing it anytime you want on the Star Fox Game Watch. You can get yours for $8.99 and two proofs from Kellogg's Cornflakes and watch the time clock. Now this watch is an LCD watch. Now I know there are not too many popular LCDs back in the day. There's a lot of the Tiger handhelds, which really aren't that fun to play. They're really fun to collect and get your hands on. But as far as playing, 
the experience was kind of iffy. Now, something that's interesting is on a Tiger game is the screen's a lot bigger, so it feels like the animations are really spread out. But on this Star Fox watch, the display is so small that it doesn't seem like the little animations are that far spread apart. I'm sure they're pretty much just the same as far as their frames per second or whatever you wanted to call it back then. But on a smaller screen, it doesn't really feel like the gaps between each animation are really that big. So this package includes this clamshell case. It includes some headphones, which are the old foam material, which do break apart really easy. Oh, and speaking of audio, I should probably let you guys hear a little bit of the sounds that come out of this watch. So check it out. And also a manual, which I am missing, so I am definitely going to be looking for this manual. And from my understanding, this manual just tells you a little bit about how to work the watch, and also the storyline for the game, which is basically the exact same story you get from Star Fox on the Super Nintendo. Go after Andros. There are other versions of this watch that look slightly different from this one, as I mentioned earlier. Ricky and I both have the other model as well. There are also other versions of packaging available for this watch, not just the large clamshell case, but also the long, slim plastic casings that normally hold cheaper watches when you go into a Kmart or something like that. Now, I know the clamshell one is more desirable, but from what I am seeing, the way these other ones look, I am a huge sucker for display and bright and bold and video game logos, so I am a little bit jealous of these long plastic ones. Maybe I'll come into the position of it one day. Oh, and if I really wanted the plastic casing one, I see you can buy them online for around $75 plus shipping. But if you go on Google and type in Star Fox watch and hit shopping, you're not going to see this version with the case and all of the stuff inside of it. You will see just the watch by itself for around $70. So to have this complete is one of the coolest things I've ever seen and one of my favorite things that I've ever had in my possession. Huge fan of video games, huge fan of collectibles, huge fan of knickknacks, and huge fan of display. So this is kind of all of that packed into one. Do you guys collect any watches, any sort of Nintendo watches or video game watches? I would really love to know. I'm super curious. I'm a sucker for these things. I always want them when I see them. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys, and I hope you guys have the most fantastic day ever. Thanks for watching Behind the Find. I'll see you guys next time.